<laughs> but but trust, you know, as children, we have inherent trust. In other words, to our parents, our siblings, you know, we're, we're, we're small. Uh, those are the people that are leading us, guiding us. That's who we're with. That's who we look up to. We look to for protection, look to for you know, food and shelter. Uh, you, you know, you have that. But as you get older, you know, trust becomes something that has to be earned. It's not given. You know, in order, you know, you, you have the people that are closest to you, your spouse, uh, your, your, your parents, your children, uh, your, your siblings, uh, you know, and then your, your closest circle of friends. You know, those are the people that you, you know, you have a, a level of trust in. You know, and it, it, it didn't just come, especially with friends. You know, it's something that, you know, you spend time, you learn about each other, you share things with each other, and over time that builds trust. You know, I have a very small circle of people that I have total, complete trust in. One of them is on the phone with me tonight. You know, and not only that 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 friend trust that we have, you know, I, w- I would trust you with the keys to my house. I would trust you with with, with the, the my bank numbers, you know, uh, and, and I better you've got mine. And, and there's and there's very <laughs> and there's very few people in this in this world that that I can say that about. Right. Um, but there's also not you know for instance the trust we have from a training perspective. You know for mm-hmm. instance judo training. You know those are things that you know you go want to throw me through the air. <laughs> let me let me show you this. Let me show you this move. You know there is a level of trust that has been built over many years. Mm-hmm. To, to know and understand, I know what you're going to do. You know how I'm going to react and vice versa. And, you know, and again, that takes time to build it. It's, it's like a, like a garden. You got to nurture it and it grows. And, uh, so, you know, that's, to me, that's, that's basic trust. But outside of that circle of, of, of people that are closest to you, um, you know, people got work to do. You know, if you want, if you want to, for me to to go along with what you're saying, uh, you know, get on get on the train per se. Um, you need you need to prove to me that you are worthy of my trust. And that that's not meant to sound conceited. It's not meant. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Um, I just think that's that's the way things ought to be. And everybody should be that way. You know, I'm skeptical of everybody until I pretty much get get inside the. It, it, underneath the uh, the hood there and, and kind of get that trust and learn something about somebody. You know, in my mind, I'm, I guess paranoid is not a good word for it, but, you know, I, I'm very skeptical of people's intentions uh, until I learn more about them or have had the ability to spend more time with them and, and learn who they are and how, you know, how they act and do things. You know, a good person to see this, I, I'd, I'd like to revisit this in about 10 years. Okay. And, Hopefully by that point, you know, he'd be willing to talk about it, but let everybody hear from my son, you know, wow, my, yeah. my, my, I'm, you know, I'm an adoptive parent, you know, I'm, I'm a parent, but you know, let's just be honest about it. We adopted him and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I hear a lot of what you're saying. It's made me think about some things about, you know, does he, you know, when you've had a, a bond of trust broken by, everybody you know at such a young age like he was he was four yeah you know and and i i sometimes you know it's it's interesting to hear you talking about this glenn because i sometimes look at this kid you know he's 12 going on 13 years old now and i'm like you know does he fully trust me uh so there's a lot to this man i mean yeah it goes deep oh yeah you know, especially in a situation like that, when these are again, these are the people within. The, you know, to to quote Robert De Niro and and meet the parents or meet the Fockers, the circle of trust. You know, mm-hmm. uh, once you get out of the circle, you can't get back in. You know, right. and uh, you break once you break that ring, you can't get back into it. But <clears throat> that's the people that are closest to us. But what I want to look at tonight, you know, from a safety and self protection perspective, um, is when you're when you're taking direction or you're being told things or being given direction, I guess is a better way of putting it from people that are outside that circle, you know, people that, uh, that let's just say consider themselves in a position of authority.